Hey, hey everyone. Today we'll be doing an unboxing video, a very quick one because I won't be fishing this guy anytime soon, but I do want to share with you how the new Cast King Centron Lite BFS rod or this, this specific one, the Ultralight Casting Rod, okay? So the specific model I have gotten is the 1.8 meters fast tip action, and this is rated for one to seven grams. Ultralight rod, for those who are not familiar with uh, my rod arsenal from Casting, especially from the AliExpress side, I've gotten the Casting Zephyr Rod, which is uh, pretty good, very popular. I got the Valiant Eagle, although it's rated for ultralight, that rod right there is really more of a light rod, so it's kind of mislabeled. Still good for the lighter side of things, but I don't really use that rod much. And then I have the Max Steel Twin Tip Rod. It's ultralight and light. However, I feel like it's more like extra ultralight and ultralight rather than ultralight and light. I typically have the light tip on, okay? And now I have the Centron light and I want to assess this and see how this thing goes because this is actually a pretty cheap travel rod. So are you guys excited? Because I am, because the color is pretty neat. I am loving it. And um, this thing actually came in a rod tube and here is their rod tube cover. Yep, this came from AliExpress and it went to USPS and they delivered it to my house. Here is the rod bag, okay? You can put the whole four pieces in. The, the butt end with the real seat, next piece, mid piece, and piece, four piece total. Anyway, enough with the intro here. Ta-da! All right, is it too bright here? I may have to dumb down a light, but it looks okay. My Samsung phone did readjust the lighting, so that's good. So, look at that sexy white rod. And these are EVA foam, and on the website it said, said uh, the color is off-white, which is nice. Uh, to me, this is gray, but to my kiddo, it's dark white. <laughs> That's funny because um, I was doing colors with my kid the other day and he forgot the color gray. And it was like black, white, um, dark white. <laughs> so yeah, you might hear me say dark white in some of my videos because it's so funny that uh, our whole family has been saying dark white. Um, yeah, cute things when you have kids, right? But yeah, I am liking the white. And I'm loving that, I would say, kind of kind of like a darker baby blue, but it's not like a um, very, very deep blue, but it's, it's, a, it's a light blue. And it's interesting that my Samsung making it a little darker and I guess we have some filter, has some uh, extra saturation to make the colors pop, but it's definitely not as deep as this, okay? It's a little lighter. But yeah, this is not Fuji materials. I believe this is LTS. Uh, real seat and also LTS guides and I believe there's some sort of ceramic uh, rings because they said it's wear resistant and you know I don't know much about LTS anyway what we have here is a hook bait keeper which is in front let me know in the comments below where you prefer to have your little um, bait holder anyways let's um, keep looking just twisting this not too bad. In fact, why don't we slap on a reel to see how it sits. And I got the Valiant Eagle 2. Unfortunately, I won't be using this rod with this reel for this cast testing. But if you want to see the unboxing video of this, you guys can check out in the top right hand corner for the Valiant Eagle 2 BFS reel, which is basically the budget version of the Castro Elite. Anyway, let's slap this on. Is it enough? Okay. Yeah, I want to use this reel on the Zephyr first, Zephyr rod, because I've been doing my cast testing with that and I want to do an apples to apples comparison. But I could also use it for, I guess, this rod right here for this video for cast uh, casting this rod. So for my cast testing for this, it's definitely going to be Zephyr. But anyway, um, I am looking at this. Reel seat is um, palmable, especially with this smaller reel. Uh, I guess I do have a, a little bit bigger reel, right? Hold up. Let me just grab my next reel here. I got the... I'll do bearing 2016 and it is a little bit larger. Let me slap this on very quick and see how the palmability of this. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit bulkier, but it's still palmable. My Asian hands. Although I have Asian hands, it's actually quite large for my size. I have the biggest hand in my family. So anyway, let's start uh, attaching these pieces in. And uh, first thing you see here is that this is not your typical 
casting connection anymore. Like they used to use that uh, furrow spigot guide. Jeez, uh, these terminologies. Uh, yeah, they call it the power transfer system and it's a little different. It looks different and it actually stops here. It stops exactly where the paint stops. Okay, so this is oh, kind of okay. It's a little loose for my taste, but since it's ultralight, we're not casting super hard. I think it's okay. I'm just afraid that when you're fighting a fish, it will twist, but it's okay. There's ways to, to solve this. All you have to do is take some sort of wax and put it right on here and stick it in and it will become a little stiffer. And um, I guess since I don't have candle for wax, I guess uh, I'll be using my kiddos and don't laugh. Don't laugh. You gotta use what you gotta use. This right here. I got this free at TD Bank. <laughs> yes, I took my kiddo in there and I gave us a box. He was coloring and everything and uh, we brought it home. We don't want him to use this. We have some washable crayons because he writes on the wall. So I'll keep this for myself for right now. So yeah, just rub a little bit on here and put it in. It should stiffen up just a bit. Anyway, let's move on to the next piece because I want to test the rest of them. So here's the next piece down. And I believe the total amount of guides here, in fact, I'll just show it to you right now. I'll just count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine for this piece here. I believe the shorter piece have eight. And let's see. This is super loose. Oh my, the next one's loose. Can I shove it any harder? I don't want to break it. Let's put it in. Okay, it, it's a little bit better. Okay, because I, I actually forced it in. But I'm, I'm, I'm still a little concerned. Like if it goes off a little bit, it's super loose. Okay. So definitely want to put that wax on. And let's try the last piece. In fact, I don't have much, much room here, so I will take that off first. And um, let's put this on. Uh oh. Okay, so I can shove it in, but let's see. It twists pretty easy. Like, if you're casting for it, it will always jerk out a little bit, right, and get loose, I believe. Well, I guess I'll go fish it, see if that's a true statement. But yeah, I guess uh, my first fishing impression, I won't be putting the wax on. However, I will bring the crayons with me because while fishing, I may have to do it. Yeah, I, I am very concerned for the very end piece as you be whipping your rod. This thing might turn especially with a uh, little heavier lures. Okay, so yeah, definitely uh, a concerning aspect of this rod. But other than that, it looks beautiful. It feels nice. Okay, everything feels light. And the price was just right, especially buying during 11.11. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go out in the water and I'll record a quick piece to end this video to show you how this rod bends. And then I'll end the video and we'll have a fishing session, okay? But anyway, let's move on to the water. All right, guys, I am at the parking lot. It's a little bit windy, got my mic right here. Hopefully everything sounds really good, but here you go. 1.8 meter rod. Let's do a quick bend, because I got a reel right here. This is the Valley Eagle 2. Got some line on it so I can just bend the rod so you can see. All right, see that right there? I'm gonna come a little closer too. That's the bend, fast tip rod. Now I'm looking at it, one, two, three. The last three, maybe four. That's where all the bends are at. And then from uh, the, the five and six, you see it's straightened up a little bit. It's getting a little stiffer. And then past that point, I guess all the, the backbone right here, starting from right there, a lot stiffer. But yeah, this is gonna be a, a good rod, kind of all rounder cast pretty well, but there's one concern I have, which I'm gonna play around with right now. Everything right here is, is in snug, okay? And now I'm gonna do a shake, something like this, because like that, okay? Just for a little bit. Oh, look, look at that. It just fell right off. It just fell right out. So yeah, definitely, definitely need to put some wax on it to keep it from sliding off. But yeah, I am assuming after like several casts, this thing will fly off. Anyway, I thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to see me fish this rod and also potentially this reel too very soon, make sure you guys stay tuned, all right? The fish don't wait, everyone. I see you guys in water next time.